raccontarle gli altri peccati banali, però ho bisogno di dirgliene uno piccolo piccolo che ho commesso di recente. Va bene, ma prima di questo peccato quanti peccati piccoli piccoli ha commesso? No, forse due o tre mila. Sì, passiamo oltre. Qual è questo peccato piccolo piccolo che mi deve raccontare? Ho ucciso una donna. Signora, non capisco come possa credere che questo sia un peccato piccolo piccolo. Non ha sentito gli altri 3000? Ha ragione. Vado avanti. Pat Battistini. <laughs> right? Yes. Who's your daddy films? Yes. Second year in a row. Miss Rossi, Miss Rossi 2. Right. Inspiration for the film. Um, actually, uh, it came from, um, my, my relatives actually live in Italy in a small village of 300 people. And uh, we were going there for one summer for about three weeks. And as filmmakers, what's the hardest thing for us to get is location, right? Right. So I'm going to this beautiful village up in the mountains of Italy and I've got three weeks on my hands. I'm like, let me shoot a film. So I took some time and I wrote a, a little five minute film uh, and it was the genesis to Miss Rossi. Um, and so we shot that and then when we came out and we started doing the festival run with it, it got a great reception and as filmmakers, what do we think? Oh, we need to strike while the iron's hot. Right. And so I said, let me go do a sequel. Um, and instead of doing another five minute sequel, what do I do? I do an 18 minute sequel to it. But I had fun with it. At that point, I knew the character really well right. and it was easy to flush out the script. And, and also, I, the first one had two other characters besides our main character, Miss Rossi. This next one had about eight characters in it. Um, and I knew I wanted to bring in uh, some older women into it as well because Miss Rossi is kind of a, you know, in her, in her 40s. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I love the aspect of bringing in some older women for the antagonism and the protagonist, right. you know. So it really worked out really well. Well, when you think of Italy, you think of, uh, uh, gotta be careful, I say the senior women <laughs> hanging out the windows and that's your, that's your security force, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, you, don't need, you don't need cameras there because you have someone hanging out the window just always watching, right. the Nona, right? right. The, the <laughs> Nona, and, and it's funny, but it is so true that when I asked them to wear the one older woman, I said, can you wear the typical Nona black? Oh, she knew exactly what I meant by it because it's still in existence in today. Right. Yeah, they're still walking down the street there with the, the sheep, making sure they're not going in the wrong direction or whatever, yeah. The, yeah. the story itself, any personal connection with the story itself or is this just something that's a fictional you made up and you went with it yeah well the only thing that it was was the language itself and i kept it in italian for that reason because of the passion behind it so when i was there in italy and i would see two people talking about something almost to the point of like arguing and i'd ask my cousin what are they so angry about and she looked at me and she's like they're not angry they're just they're, they're talking about the food you right. know and i'm like real compassion exactly right so that was kind of it as well where i thought you know what i'll, I'll keep it i want to shoot it in italian so that passion and and that um the the uh the gesticulation and and the intent of what they're talking about makes that part of the of the movie it's part of a, it's another character as well in the film are, are you fluent in Italian? I'm not, I'm not, I, and so, so I have- I've got the question about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tough, do you have someone to interpret or can you, can you bumble through enough to get, I, I don't know what your level of, sure. of, of, it has to be at least base amount to film over there, is it not, or? Yes, yeah, I do have, well, when I write the script, I have my cousin, she lives over there. She's fluent in Italian, so okay. she translates it. Then we talk about it a little bit to make sure because some of the, the, the colloquialisms we use here, you know, they're different from what they have. So um, I'll make sure we're on the same page on that. And then when we shoot it, of course, like you know, when you shoot something over and over and over again, you kind of get in the groove. Mm -hmm. So when I go to editing, um, every now and then something will slip by me and in, in the intent of the actor and the way they delivered the line. But most of the times I hear what they're saying with the inflection of the words. And I do see the English version and the Italian version in front of me. So after a couple months of editing, you really kind of get it where you can go back and say, ah, this was off a little bit, but oh, and I understand this one now. So it's not too bad. It, it does seem intimidating at first, um, especially being on the set when they're speaking Italian, um, because you want to make sure that they're saying it the right way, because actors, 
will tend to go off in their own direction sometimes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that's the only thing I really had to listen to what they were saying on set to make sure when I got to the script and editing, it was the same thing. Well, I think it's brilliant that you make a comedy in a foreign country, and as you was talking to the audience, prostitute in Italy is one of the worst things you can call someone. <laughs> Here is kind of, I don't know, it's our joke almost at this point, yeah. where we're at. So it's culturally uh, different words for different meanings for different folks, but the ability to, you know, w when the Nona is saying she's a prostituta, you know, <laughs> it, it, it plays extremely well with our audiences here. We're there, you said it may not, they didn't really want right. to say it because the actors didn't want to say it. And you're saying, look, in America, it's, it's funny, right? <laughs> totally. And it did really play off. You, you heard the audience reaction. And uh, I think you played to a full theater. In, in yeah, fact, it, was it was a great full. audience. And with that said, thank you, oh. thank Heather, your staff, everybody here for doing such a great job and, and welcoming us. It's really, it's our pleasure to, to, to screen in, in a theater, to have a, such a warm audience too. They were great. Uh, but to your point about the dialogue, yeah. And it was funny, I learned from the Miss, the first Miss Rossi, that after I made the film, I started submitting it to festivals in Italy and I wasn't getting in. And I kind of sat back and I'm like, okay, it's it's just the culturally different, the, the humor, right. we don't find it different. So when I brought in the, the, the next cast for Miss Rossi 2, on the Friday night, we all got together and we had dinner, we drinking and things. And I just explained to them, because really I didn't know hardly any of them. We just kind of were meeting for the first time. But I explained to them, I say, hey guys, just the direction I may give you, it may seem a little awkward for you, but I'm making this film for the American audience. It's not for the Italian audience. So they got that as we were going on during the day, and especially that morning when we started, again, that word prostitute, they were, they were really hesitant on talking and saying it and whatever like that. I said, no, I said, it's, it's the, the pronunciation um, that, that's humorous for us right. and the enunciation of it. So play it like that. And that's all I had to tell them. And then they ran with it. So they really knew every time as you hear it in the movie, right. it's boom, 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 you know, so. Uh, especially the, the older lady, the, Ita the yes. grandmother, yes. right? Yes, yes. Um, and what is that in, in Italy? The, the, what the, would be the gr great, uh, what would the matriarch, the head matriarch be called? Well, we just called her Nona? the Nona. Yeah, okay, the Nona, the Nona yeah, okay. Yeah. There, there's not a senior Nona and a yeah. junior Nona <laughs> for age. A pecking or, order. Or a pecking order, yeah. <laughs> but when she says it, it's yeah. not like a, a, a husband and wife squabbling and she's claiming you've been out with a prostitute. It's funny. Yeah. I mean, it really resonates, especially yeah. with the look. And if you've been around um, some older Italian women, it's they're going to get they're going to be blunt. They're going to say what they want. And so it really played off well with the yeah. with American audience. I know. Uh, so congratulations on Th making two you. great films. <laughs> Thanks. Do you have a feature in the works? Uh, yeah, actually, I just finished directing, and it's a mouthful. It's a martial arts musical comedy. Okay. So it, it's, it's a full feature length film. Um, I reworked the script, so if you watch it, and you, you know my humor by now, so you go, okay, yeah, that's, that's a pat bit right there. But, um, and, and I wrote uh, lyrics for a couple of the songs, so it was a great challenge, uh, and it's in editing right now, we're in post. Um, so it, it'll, we'll see, it, you know, it's one of those, independent features, you never know how it's going to end up because right. every we, we shot it over a year. Oh. So we shot like one day this month, two days this month, and whenever we can get the cast and the money and the location together. So you just hope that at the end of that whole time that it's all piecing together and it, and it works and makes sense. So what, now, did you shoot this in California? Yeah, we shot it in California, but we actually, we did do one flashback scene. The executive producer said, listen, to raise the production value a little bit. And as you know, in Indies, you really kind of need that. Uh, he said, let's shoot the flashback scene in Italy because it's a, there's a couple that are in love, but they originally met in Rome. So when they meet each other again in, in California, there's, there's that uh, awkwardness. So we flew out on, on a Friday, shot Saturday, Sunday, came home on Monday. <laughs> That's quite a trip. It was from California as well. Yeah, and the jet lag so, and the time oh, difference yeah, and all yeah. that. It was, it was amazing, but we were on adrenaline to shoot this flashback scene, you know, for two days. And fortunately, because of my Miss Rossi connections, I called my DP and my sound and, and uh, EP guy. We all came down. They all came down from Milano. We met in Rome. They got on a train. Boom, boom, boom. We shot in a couple right. days and it worked out. Yeah. That's nice. Um, yeah. Now you said that you're, um, are you looking to leave California soon or, and wanting to build, I, I know you're, you're, you were you're talking about your wife being a great interior designer. <laughs> yes. And so wanting to build your own home. Yes. 
and you're looking to move to the southeast somewhere? Yes, yeah. Uh, are you looking forward to, and I don't know when you shoot in California, I know the, the laws are very strict, the mm. permitting and all this. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the freedom to be like a pioneer was back in the 1800s? <laughs> just, you pull out your camera and the street will shut down for you <laughs> yeah. instead of asking for permit, you know, yeah. and people are excited to have you here filming. Uh, are you looking forward to that? Yes, well, let, let me put it to you this way. When we were in Italy and you, and you wanted, you know, I, I did a, a, a previous film there. It was like one of my first, it was a dr dramatic piece I did in Italy years ago. And I needed the exterior of a castle. And my cousin went in the other room and came out with five pictures and said, which one do you want? Right. And I mean, that's what it is down in, in the they Southeast. Were yeah. I was, yeah. Oh my gosh. So yes, definitely. I'm looking forward to coming to the Southeast where people welcome you and they're happy to be a part of your project right. instead of being so jaded in Los Angeles. Los Angeles has been great to me. I've been there for 25 mm -hmm. years, um, and uh, but it's just moving on to the next part. And I can make movies anywhere now, because when sure. I moved there, that was the place to be. Right. But now we can make movies anywhere. Digital made a lot of things yeah. possible. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And so we can make, if I want to make someplace look like California, I could do that, especially green screens, all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff we can right. do. And you can always fly back there and shoot just a little always bit. Always can fly to. back. Right. And usually it's funny, ironically, all my friends who leave LA, they end up coming back, getting hired, from to Florida, what to do projects in LA? Right. Yeah. I mean, that's that's the heartbeat of the industry there. Yeah, it, it, yeah. it is, and I don't see it leaving anytime right. soon. Right. Of it being the heartbeat, but there's a lot of satellites going on that where people, you know, even Atlanta. Atlanta has a big film scene. Yeah. So there's a lot to do there. I think the weather, the conduciveness of the weather in the West, is what makes it a year-round shooting destination. Yeah. That's the one thing I will have to learn once I'm away from there. Humidity. Yeah, that and also scheduling and being ready to to move inside if we need to, because yes. when we shoot there, it's like there's never, you, you, it doesn't even enter your mind that you're going to have rain, you right. know what I mean? So it's like, we just keep shooting. You, you put day one here and day five right. here and you go. You don't have uh, lenses fogging up either. Yeah, that, <laughs> that exactly. Yeah. Looking forward to more of Pat Battistini. <laughs> I got that right, didn't I? Yes, you did. I did. Yes. Okay, think someday your name will be infamous. I was in a Battistini film. Oh, that would right? be wonderful, right? Yeah. It's kind of reminiscent of another name that was a great Italian uh, filmmaker. Yeah, exactly. Right, yes. so you got, we won't you say got the a, name, You got a few of them. Yes. Yeah, you got a few of them. Yeah, but um, anyway, we wonderful to have you here. So pleased that you make the films that you make because it's what helps to make the festival. It's, it's all a big, I call it an orchestra. It's true. You know, everybody playing a different instrument, but it makes beautiful music. So right. thank you for everything. Thank you, Jerry. Truly appreciate everything appreciate you. you guys are doing. Really, again, without you guys, our, our films would be just on our hard drives. You know, well, sitting around, they're up so. on the big screen. Yeah, that's where they truly, belong. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.